Hello again. What I've got for you today is something slightly different. Um, I've got a, as you can see, I'm putting coilovers on my car. And if someone someone wants to know, it's a, I think a Amax, Amax coilovers. I was quickly trying to change it without recording it, and what happened was. Um, it's pretty much, you know, it's pretty easy job to do if everything comes off easily. And if you know, there's always one bolt that is going to give you a headache. And in my case, everything came off nicely, except this one bolt. Basically on the, on the old one, on the, on the car, I was trying to remove those three bolts to remove the actual leg and two of them came off easily the third one was was coming off until like halfway and then this nut came loose so what i've got right now is a bolt that is loose but with a spinning nut on the end and i also forgot to mention is sorry for, sorry about the wind by the way but um i also forgot to mention that you will have to remove this and this black panel so for this we'll have to remove the wipers pull the rubber seal off remove this this just lifts up and then you have five of those torx um, screws you have to remove and this just pulls off and then it reveals your your top mount the uh, bolts so i'm going to do this now on this side you will have to remove the motor as well but this side I didn't have any problem with it's only that side so I'm gonna remove this and show you what the problem is okay so this is the problem that I've got those two bolts will come off easy but this one as you can see is loose and it's about this much off but there is a nut on the end so I can't take it off and this was stopping me from removing the actual whole uh, suspension leg so that's how it looks from the top and this is what I need to work with on the, on the bottom I'm not sure if you can see but that is spinning right there I'm gonna try and spin the bolt from the top so if you can see I'm spinning the bolt from the top and that's what I need to work with okay so as you can see the shock is out this is the bolt that was giving me a headache the bolt is is okay it's just this what started to round off as you can see it should be like that but this is the side that i had to as you can see um torch up and the bolt uh, gave up so this is out. I've took the I've took the droppling off as well because the new ones came with new droppings. So yeah, I'm gonna put this back on, and um, I will have to drop it on the floor, adjust it, and then see how it goes. I'm gonna put a new droppling there as well, then put this on the car. Okay, so <clears throat> okay, so I'm pretty much done on the other side. Um, the reason why I didn't record it is I just wanted to check if there is there's not going to be any 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 other problems, but there wasn't. Um, the only left on that the other side is to um, tighten the drop link, but the reason why I didn't do it yet is because the new one, the new drop links are about this shorter, this much shorter. So I can't get this uh, the new droppling to go in. So I need to remove this, then lift this up, and then put the other droppling in. So yeah, the the way you remove the shock on this car is you have to remove this, which is a size 27. You have to remove this. You have to remove there's a three three uh, nuts for the for the ball joint remove 
it depends if you if you're replacing drop links as well or not or not if you do then remove it from here and just take it out for with the shock or if you want to leave the uh, drop links on then just remove this bolt here this nut and the drop link will stay on the car so yeah so you remove this hub nut remove three nuts on the bottom you remove this pinch bolt which is 18 millimeter on this side and a um, spline socket on this side which is right there which is the, the spline socket is m14 it's m14 it's like multi spline socket so it's not it's not torx so don't use torx because you can you can run the bolt off and i mean don't really need the you can replace it but you know use the right tools for the right job so yeah so after after you remove the pinch bolt you have to there is a special tool i might put a link to it there is a special tool to put it inside that gap and turn and this will basically expand and let the shock uh, loose um, I don't have it so I just use a chisel I just chisel, uh, push the chisel inside and you will basically do the same thing um, yeah so also maybe remove that bracket because you don't want it to pull in on anything so yeah I will start from removing this then I will remove the pinch bolt hub nut those three bolts on the, on the nuts on the bottom remove this drop link and then I will show you what you have to do on the top okay so as you can see this is off the drop link is off I had to I had to heat up the, the nut and heat up one of the ball joint nuts they, they were stuck seized but um, yeah everything is off I just disconnected the ABS sensor just so it's not you know under any tension but yeah the actual suspension leg is ready to come out the thing you have to do is remove three nuts let me show you now okay you have to remove one two and three but to get to the third one you have to remove this I mean you could maybe get there but it's much easier to remove the the motor is just one two and three and the plug and it all comes out and you can remove those three bolts so I'm gonna do that now and I've got a bad news same thing happened to this bolt <sighs> I'm trying to heat it up now and hopefully it comes off but yeah the same exact thing happened on the same exact bolt so I'm gonna have to try and remove the wheel arch and and see if I can if I can remove it the same way as I did the other one so yeah wish me luck okay so as you can see it's out I do have a small struggle with it but actually I actually let go so I'm gonna okay so I've done those three bolts on the top and the shock is in okay so now what I have to do is this will leave for last uh, slide this onto there but before uh, before I slide it I have to just put a chisel in there just so it's already open and all I have to do is just slide it up and then put the drive shot back in put this on and then put the uh, wishbone on and then yeah hopefully we can lower the car and see the results okay okay so as you can see the shock is in now so all i have to do is put the drive shaft back in and uh, and connect those three bolts for this in um, wishbone and then at the end just connect those two two drop links on both sides and then we're ready to uh, and that 10 millimeter don't forget so yeah so I'll do this quickly and then we'll lower the car straight away without putting the top things because I just want to see how it looks 
so yeah okay so everything is on the drive shaft is in everything is in um, ADS sensor is connected um, the only thing I have to do is just put the wheel on and lower the car um, um, yeah so I'll quickly put the wheel on and record being lowered lowered down um the back i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lower the back for now because yeah, i've left the the rear suspension rake or lovers um at, in my shed so i need to go and grab them but for now i just wanted to do the front because um the front is is um is the hardest bit so so yeah so I will put the wheels on and lower the car now. Just before you put the top clip, top um, plastic bit on, just you see this groove right here. Just take a pick and just running inside just to clean any kind of dirt and, and um, dust. If you didn't clean the window, you're gonna see a line going from the dirt. So line the um, wipers with that line and just tighten that nut. Not too much, but not too loose. And then you're done. Okay, so as you just saw, um, the front the front coilovers are on. Um, they look they look perfect to me. That's how I wanted it lowered. I didn't want it any anywhere lower or higher this is gonna be it for for this video i'm not gonna replace the rear suspension maybe probably next week i will do it but rear suspension is much easier than the front ones um so yeah so 
when the, when I get to when I get to do it, I will record this as well, and and you know show you guys how how it looks with full coilovers done. But as I said, but as I said for now, that's what I wanted. You know, as as you saw, the I had two problems with two bolts being stuck, but I've managed to heat them up. Don't you basically if this happens to you, you cannot just keep heating it up because the top mount has a, a layer of rubber on it, so you just kept on catching on fire. So what I did was just heat it up when it when I seen it catching on fire just blow it out the heating it up again and then yeah somehow I got it you know I got it to heat up and and um, get it to you know loosen up and yeah but that's that's really the only problems that I had if you wonder if you wonder what's the size because sometimes you have two options for coilover for coilovers the the bottom of the leg uh, the bottom of the leg where it slides into the uh, hub Sometimes they sell f uh, 50 millimeters and, and 55. The one that I bought is 55 millimeters. So yeah, and sometimes you can buy coilovers with like a sleeve, sleeve that goes on top of the 50 mil and it makes a 55. But uh, but yeah, I just bought 55. Just I just risked it. I didn't check anywhere, you know, what size it is. But yeah. Um, but. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll do the rear, rear coilovers around next week. So I'll record this as well. But for today, that's all I had for you. So if you like this video, if the vid if this video helped you in any way, make sure you like it, comment on the comment section below. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.